Not everyone has a place to go for Christmas dinner, but the New Haven Community Soup Kitchen has been working to fix that. This is the 40th year in a row that they served up holiday meals. News 8's George Colley stopped by there earlier today. Yeah. She's going to give you bread and we're going to give you some salad. Okay. Hot Christmas dinners for those who might not otherwise get them. I um, actually came here from a uh, uh, drug addicted past, a little time incarcerated. Then I'm like, I did I begin helping people. Robert Jackson is known as Poncho. He first came to the New Haven Community Soup Kitchen as a guest. Now he spends his time here giving back. I've been through it. I'm a paycheck away from being in that line every day myself. But um, um, what, I, what I've acquired down here as far as strength comes to me from helping other people. Every day for four decades, this soup kitchen has served the greater New Haven community. The soup kitchen served about 100 meals today, but throughout the year, it'll be tens of thousands. Last year, we served over 72,000 meals, and this year, it looks like we're going to do close to 75,000 meals this year. David O'Sullivan says volunteers, money, gift cards, and cleaning supplies top the list of what's needed most, not only around the holidays, but year-round. We also try to encourage people to remember people are hungry year-round. Oh, it's fantastic. I'm vegetarian, so they're actually very good to me here. I come a lot of, um, a lot of times during the day. Melanie Vallo says the food, service, and company she meets here is top-notch. Well, I wanted to say thank you so much. It's so nice that all these people came out on Christmas Day to volunteer to help the people that um, either don't have family that are local or the weather wasn't so great today, the people that couldn't be with their families today. A Merry Christmas indeed. From New Haven, George Colley, News 8.